A comedy club in Spain has installed facial recognition scanning systems on the back of seats in the front row to scan audience members to determine how many times they smile and laugh during the show. Well, many people see this as a fun new novelty way to play with the new facial recognition technology. The consequences and potential ramifications are disastrous. I guess it's not too far-fetched to believe that we'll see companies installing this at the front desk or uh, near the cash register to make sure that the poor retail slaves are being friendly and smiling enough with the customers and to make sure that the secretary is greeting potential new business clients with a big enough smile. Of course, recently the FBI admitted that their facial recognition scanning system is fully functional. Facebook's facial recognition software is now as accurate as a human being. By the way, uh, hotels now are installing facial recognition scanning systems to identify somebody as soon as they step in the front door. The Super Bowl, of course, last year had uh, biometric facial recognition scanning systems being used. And it wasn't just at the Super Bowl last year. It's been for the Super at the Super Bowl for the last 13 years. That's right. Back in 2001, it was Super Bowl Face Scan 1 in Florida when uh, they were beta testing the system, which is now fully functional. Of course, many casinos in Las Vegas and Atlantic City have been using facial recognition scanning systems for over a decade to identify card counters and cheats. It has been reported that some shopping malls in Europe have actually installed the system to identify troublesome patrons. And, of course, uh, Google Glass and other head-mounted display systems promise that they will have facial recognition scanning apps so that you, too, can be empowered and identify any celebrity that you happen to be walking past or seated, ne you know, seated next to in a restaurant. Yes, of course, Google uh, restaurants, by the way, are actually Googling customers who make reservations to just find out who you are and uh, get a little bit of more personal information about you. Homeland Security had been beta testing, basically mind-reading technology called malintent, the malicious intent to uh, basically be a mind-reading machine from afar to determine whether or not you're possibly a terrorist. Similar technology has been used to, and will continue to be used, to detect pre-crime. Are you angry? Are you mad? Are you a potential terrorist, you evil Christians? By the way, um, Iowa students recently have been forced to wear heart monitors in gym class. Apparently the teacher is just so pathetic that they can't watch the students or grade them in any other manner. Quote, it really takes the opinion out of things says the moronic teacher, who now will grade them depending on what the heart rate monitor says, as opposed to, you know, like doing what gym teachers have been doing for decades, <laughs> you know, like recording times and scoring students on their abilities based on a variety of tasks. There is some good news, though. Students in Texas, a Texas school, who were at one time forced to wear badges with RFID trackers uh, after parents were outraged. The school backtracked on their policy, showing that sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the grease. But the comedy club now testing facial recognition scanning systems to judge how you know, engaged, how many times audience members smile, actually opens the door for real possibilities. It seriously is not far-fetched to think that this technology may be applied to determine whether or not secretaries and employees of a variety of fast food fields and other businesses uh, to, to scan them constantly to then give them a, a daily or a, a weekly review on how, uh, how often they, or how many often they, they smile, how the computer has determined whether or not they're happy enough. I'm sorry, we're going to have to let you go. You're just not smiling enough. Our facial recognition scanning system has judged that you smile 50% less than other people. That's one of the things we need you to say is when patrons walk into the store is you smile with an enthusiastic grin and say, Hi, welcome to Subway. How may I help you? Hi, welcome to Subway. How may I help you? Hi, welcome to Subway. How may I help you?